Breaking news today, it's genocide Turkish President Erdogan blasts Israel after 59 people killed in Gaza, Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan has accused Israel of genocide after 59 people were killed in violent clashes which erupted in response to Donald Trump's move to relocate the U.S. Embassy in Israel from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem. Monday was the bloodiest day for Palestinians since the Gaza conflict in 2014, as the Israeli army shot Palestinian protesters on the Gaza border. Thousands of demonstrators had traveled to the Palestinian territory's land border with Israel to protest President Trump's move, but they were met with violence from Israeli troops, which included tear gas being dropped on them. Speaking to students in London on Monday, President Erdogan stated defiantly, we will continue to stand with Palestinian people with determination. We will not allow today to be the day the Muslim world loses Jerusalem. The Turkish leader said the violence committed against Palestinian demonstrators was a humanitarian tragedy and what Israel is doing is genocide. He added, from 1948, this occupation has been ongoing. Palestine has shrunk and shrunk. They are trying to kick them out of the land. Israel is a terrorist state. President Erdogan has since recalled Turkey's ambassadors from the U.S. and Israel. He added that a big rally would be held in Istanbul on Friday in response to the violence in Gaza. Turkey's Prime Minister Binali Yildirim also accused the U.S. of being an accomplice of Israel. He said, Unfortunately, the U.S. has arrogantly stood by the Israeli administration which kills civilians and has partnered in this crime against humanity. This provocation will only worsen the problems in the region and cause a deeper mark in the Israeli-Palestinian relationship, and will make peace in the region more difficult. Turkey's foreign ministry added, We curse the massacre carried out by Israeli security forces, encouraged by this step, on the Palestinians participating in peaceful demonstrations. U.S. Treasury Secretary Stephen Nukin along with Ivanka Trump and husband Jared Kushner were present in Jerusalem on Monday for the opening of the embassy. Speaking at the opening ceremony, Mr. Kushner said, When there is peace in this region, we will look back upon this day and will remember that the journey to peace started with a strong America recognizing the truth. President Trump also made a speech via video, adding, The U.S. remains fully committed to facilitating a lasting peace agreement. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu welcomed the news, and praised President Trump for having the courage to keep his promises he said, what a glorious day. Remember this moment. This is history. President Trump, by recognizing history, you have made history. Palestinian health ministry officials stated that 59 protesters were killed in the violence, and more than 2,200 injured. Prime Minister Theresa May expressed her concern over the violence and reconfirmed the UK's opposition to President Trump's recognition of Jerusalem as Israel's capital. MRS May's spokesman said, The UK remains firmly committed to a two-state solution with Jerusalem as a shared capital. We are concerned by the reports of violence and loss of life in Gaza. We urge calm and restraint to avoid actions destructive to peace efforts. Thanks for watch please share like comment this video and subscribe channel for latest news.